Ooh. Oh, and Rizzy really did that. Wow. doing not as dramatic of a look. I say that now, but it's probably gonna be dramatic. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna be using the new Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia and the new Amrezy Highlight. It's so pretty. It is really pretty. Um, we're gonna do eyes first and then we're gonna focus on skin. For eyes, we're going to be doing a voiceover because we just wanna focus and wanna be able to show you up and close. We wanna be able to show you up close and personal. <laughs> up and close. Up and close. <laughs> We want to be able to show you up close how the eye looks. Um, I've already played with this palette, so I know my thoughts. I've never used it on somebody else. And this palette here, I'm going to open to show you guys. Um, you've probably already seen like this color scheme, but it's very good for bridal, like everyday type makeup. It's a good palette to have in your kit. And I'll talk more about the shadow formula and things like that in the video. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, babes, look how pretty she looks. Oh my God, I love Marcella. Now I'm spraying her face with Fix Plus just to hydrate her face a little bit before we go in with the shadows. I'm using the MAC um, Eyeshadow Base for a sticky primer to have the shadows adhere to. The formula of these shadows are really buttery and pigmented and they honestly do the work for you, but it's always important to go in with the sticky base so that the shadows can have something to adhere to and something to just stick on and make more pigmented. As a transition color, I'm taking Orange Soda on an M441 brush and I'm going to slather that brush with that color because it's a really soft color tapping off the excess. Oh my God, she's so cute. And just um, taking this back and forth on windshield wiper motions on her crease very softly and really smoking that out on the outer corner all over her lid as a soft transition. Such a bop. Taking the Luxie 231 brush and dipping to the shade Rustic, I'm going to hit that on the outer corner in a V-like formation and I'm really making sure to smoke that out on the outer corner like I said. And taking a um, Morphe M441 brush, the same brush that we use with the orange soda, and diffusing the edges of those two colors together very seamlessly and very soft. So I decided to leave this part on camera um, just to show you that off camera I do really take my time adding, taking away, adding, taking away color to make sure that the blend is very seamless. This palette is very reminiscent of the Modern Renaissance formula. I know after Subculture, um, ABH got a little bit of slack for their eyeshadow palettes, but this palette, um, the shades in them, the mattes are really buttery. The shimmers aren't super, super shimmery, but they're more of a satin everyday color. And in my opinion, if you're a makeup artist without any palettes, I would definitely highly recommend this one. And if you're someone who just loves makeup but likes to stick to subtle neutral looks, this is also a very, very good palette if um, you want to invest in good quality makeup. So now I'm here, I'm dipping a little bit into the Black Shadow Noir. And a really nice trick to intense an eye look but not go too heavy is taking a black shadow and lining the waterline or the top line like I'm doing right now. And I'm also making sure to have Marcella open her eyes like I'm doing right now to ensure a perfect and very well blended look. For a pop of shimmer, I took a flat brush and dipped into the shade Glistening, wet my brush with Fix Plus a little bit to get the opacity up, and then I just stamped that color onto her lid. This isn't a blinding shadow by any means. It's very demure and sweet, which is perfect for a soft clam like this and I'm also now curling her lashes making sure that I don't hurt her and then I'm going to have her do her own mascara because she's comfortable with doing it and if you have somebody that knows how to do their mascara it's a lot easier on you let me just tell you that so we went ahead and did the eyes um we decided not to do lashes this time just because we wanted to go for a more natural look now we're gonna work on skin and I want really glowy dewy skin um especially 
now that we are in winter, I want to make sure that I add moisture back to her skin. So I'm going to be going in with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Hydrant in um, Nude Glow. I love this brand. I had their like mud mask. Mm -hmm. I love it. This one smells so good. Mm, it does. I don't have my brushes here. Interesting. Do you mind getting my face brushes in my room? They're in like a silver packaging box. What does that smell? I have no idea. It's like, a, um, Crystal says it smells like either a cinnamon bun or a creamsicle. Yes. Like a cream soda. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to go in the beauty blender and then just pat that in the areas where she gets glowy. And you said you had a very like normal skin, right? Yeah. So like it's good. Um, this is gonna, isn't going to make her too oily. Mm -hmm. um, you can still do this if you have oily skin. For dry skin, this is going to be really good to um, hydrate the skin. But if you have really oily skin, um, you can still do this. Just make sure you set with a good amount of powder to counteract that. And you're still going to have a healthy glow. Anytime you go do makeup, it's good to hydrate your skin and moisturize it, whether you're oily or not. So that's What type of skin tip. do you have? I have oily skin. So I use a lot of powder because my skin can handle it in about like two hours, my skin. <laughs> Dana, can you not make noise? Yeah, I have very um, oily skin, so I set with a lot of powder, but I do that because in about like an hour, in two hours, my oils will come back and it's gonna look like skin. So we're gonna go in foundation and I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in Y415. This is a little, a lot of bit darker than her skin. I'm really pale, don't read me. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna like try to blend it like over here, and I'm gonna um, come in with like a little bit lighter foundations. So don't read me in the comments saying that <laughs> the wrong foundation because I know it is. I'm definitely gonna do my wedding makeup oh my if, you, if you want to. I'm gonna take the Too Faced foundation in Warm Nude, and I'm just gonna take this on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna take this color more so in the perimeters of her face where I would go in with concealer, just to add a little bit more realism to what her color actually is. And this foundation here is more of like a um, oil control because my sister has oily skin too and she uses it for that. So that's why I'm focusing a little bit more here on the T-zone, just for oil control. And then to make sure everything blends, I went in with the foundation down here and it's gonna be, take too long for me to blend that in with, <laughs> with the Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna go in with a Y6 Spot Morphe. I'm holding your ear. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like holding, holding your, on to my ear. Your love. <laughs> I'm like, hello. And you need, you need something to anchor so that way you're not like. So when in doubt, hold yeah. on to the person's ear. Or like their hair or like the ear look like, hello. <laughs> like massage. <laughs> well, seriously, my skin is so pale lately. I swear I'm tanner in the warmer months. Yeah. But you looked in person. The camera isn't doing it justice. She looks a lot paler than she actually does in real life. I'm gonna do a mixture of concealers. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and the ColourPop one. That doesn't have a name because it rubbed off. So. <laughs> the ColourPop is very peachy tone. So I'm taking that here where she has a little bit of a blue undertone to kind of color correct. And then the foundation is a little bit more yellow based because her skin is yellow based. And I'm going to focus that right over here on her cheek so that it blends really nicely into the rest of her face. Taking it on the side of the nose as well, just to snatch the nose. I almost always want to go for a peachy concealer just because I think it's better. And I don't like to go too light under the eyes anyways because I don't think it suits most people. Now I'm going to add more um, warmth back into her face. I'm taking the um, same foundation in a darker color, Y535, and just really bronzing everything up. Now we're going to set um, her under eyes with Patrick's powder, which is another peachy-esque powder. I'm going to bake a little bit. This just ensures that there's not going to be any creasing. So for example, if this was a bridal look, it just ensures if like there are tears, which a lot of weddings have tears, the whole makeup isn't going to be ruined. Because if you set with a powder, there's layers upon layers of makeup. Mm 
stacked together and if you blend it well enough, look this way, it doesn't look cakey and it ensures that you can have a little bit of moments of emotion and not worry about ruining your makeup. That is very good to know. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me in 15 because this one isn't a full on translucent, it has a little bit of color. So because I want to just add color to her face, I'm going to go in with this, again with the Beauty Blender. I like translucent powders to be applied with a Beauty Blender. I like to go in with creams and I like to go in with powders in the same areas just to really reinforce those products together. So now I'm going to go in with um, the MAC Give Me Sun just to bronze her face. This is really good for any medium skin like olive skin. Honestly, it's just a pretty powder um, in general. And then the color of the bronzer is really warm and soft. And I think I'm just going to um, bronze her face. I'm not going to like contour because she doesn't need much correctional contour. Um, she has pretty defined and sculpted cheekbones as it is. So now taking um, the shade and light contour palette and I'm just going to contour her nose a little bit. Going into the shade right here and just sculpting that. And I set her nose with a little bit of translucent powder so that it blends easier. And I think it's really sultry if you go in and blend that into the eyeshadow. I don't have a nose that you can do that, unfortunately, so I'm like, I don't. <laughs> but I think it's really nice if you can just blend the nose contour together. And it is a little bit like draggy, drag queens do it, but it looks amazing, so like, hello. On a Morphe E47 brush, I'm going to take the Patrick powder, and I'm going to cook or bake the sides of her nose just to reinforce those highlights and really sculpt her nose. So now for blush, I'm going to be taking MAC Peaches. If you don't have any blushes, this is a really good blush to run towards because it's really peachy. Well, it depends if you like peachy blushes. They're universally flattering on almost every skin complexion. That's why I love them. Mm. And this one is just my favorite. And I like to focus a brush on right here and blend together with the contour and the bronzer and I like to go with two rounds of blushes so I like to go in with the blush and then go in with the highlight and then go in with the blush again because blush is the first thing to leave your face it's the first thing that doesn't really stay on so I like to go a little bit more heavy-handed because as the day drags on you're gonna mm -hmm. not have it on your face anymore so now for the under eyes I'm gonna go in with burnt orange on a Luxie 231 brush and I'm gonna smoke out turn this way for outer corner a little bit and what I'm going to have her do is I'm going to have her take the mascara and go in with the mascara in her lower lash line. Now it's my favorite part, which is the part of highlight. So I'm going to really load that brush and then spray the brush with Flix, Flix, with Fix Plus <laughs> just to make it as smooth as possible it can. I'm going to hit it right here. Hopefully the camera can catch it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, I just like it. Oh, and Rizzy really did that. Wow. <laughs> like I said, really dewy, dewy face. Because like I said, so Marcella has really nice skin. I'm going to take it right here. A really dewy forehead. Because when the light hits it, it's just going to be so nice. Taking it on a, another tiny, tiny like pencil brush. I'm going to take the highlight again down the nose. Right over here. And then also right over here. And this will really emphasize that pinched nose. Let's just define the lips a little bit so we can go in with the lipstick. Yes, so this is the Desi and Katie More Creamer Please. It's a really nice nude. It's not going to be the same color as the lip liner, but we're going to kind of go for like a sophisticated cholita. Like an ombre. Like an ombre right. sophisticated cholita. <laughs> and then before Everything else just sets in place. Take the highlighter again, load up that brush, and reinforce the highlights one more time. Oh my gosh. Right? That's amazing. The highlight. I feel like Kim K. So that's the final look. We switched with the lighting a little bit, and I think it looks a little bit better. And it just shows how you are true to the eye. Aww. This look is very, very simple, mm -hmm. but also very dramatic at the same time. It kind of reminds me of Makeup by Errol. I don't know if you know him. 
Who? He, makeup by Ariel. Mm -hmm. He is Kylie Jenner's main makeup artist. And he oh, does, I know who. Yeah. yeah, he does very simple eyes, but he focuses a lot on the skin. Yeah. Makes it very dewy. Mm -hmm. And that makes it super dramatic. Yeah. So that's what I was kind of like... Yeah, very focusing. Kardashian. Very too, Kardashian, yeah. yeah. So let's go recap the palette. This palette is amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah, so this palette is amazing, especially if you're going for more bridal, natural looks, very Kardashian esque. Um, you should pick up this palette. Uh, let's talk about the highlighter. Oh, turn. Put the camera. Yes, this highlighter is amazing. It looks really smooth on the skin. Marcella has really nice, non textured skin. I have really textured skin. I haven't tried the highlighter yet. I'm going to be doing a video on it. But I think it's one of those highlights that looks blinding but doesn't emphasize your texture, which is important. Yeah. Do you want to add anything before we go? I just feel so pretty and like I like want you to save this look so you can do it on my wedding. We're going to take pictures of it. We're going to post it. But yeah, it's very, very bridal. It's very glowy. Yeah. I'm probably going to use this palette on my mom because she has to go to a wedding tomorrow. Yes. So let's see yeah. that for like more mature, like older skin, see how it looks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the same look on her that I did on you. Yeah. Yeah. It seems much... like it's universal, like yeah. everything we used. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you. Comment down below how pretty she looks. Oh my god, I look so bad when I'm gonna read books. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and just comment down below. Bye guys. Bye. They work the face, they're like so you to stay out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> We're <saying> shut up. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I'm gonna see you can be a nightlight photographer. I couldn't.